Hey guys, it's Rachel again. And um, as promised, I'm bringing you a video to show you some of the makeup that I use and I would recommend. Um, quick note, um, the makeup that I recommend is what I have found works for me and what I like. Of course, everyone has different skin tones, different skin types, so like foundation and, you know, the way that goes on. It's, it's going to be different for everybody, so I'm just recommending what works for me and that I found that I really like and you know I have found it helpful when other people do reviews like this but the only way you're really gonna know is you know just go out there and try stuff and see how it works for you okay so the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, you know what you're going to start off with in the beginning which would be your concealer and your corrector um, I don't really have a corrector wheel because I kind of feel like these two really work for me. And this is my Physician's Formula Concealer in green. And this helps um, <clears throat> neutralize red spots. And then the other one is the Physician's Formula Concealer, and this is just a beige. I think these two work really well because I don't have a lot of like crazy pigmentation. Like I have dark circles, but I find this works really well to cover them up. And then the green spots, this. If I was to be, for, like, you know, in the future, I might get a paint wheel, you know, a concealer wheel, because, you know, I want to be a professional makeup artist, but for now, that's what I use. Okay, now, for any of you who have oily skin and big pores, this is a great product. This is Kunique Pore Minimizer. It works great. And I have big pores because I have oily skin. I don't know if you've noticed, but I had this hole in my cheek right here from a zip long time ago. Um, it doesn't completely cover that up, but it helps. And I just have big pores because, like I said, oily skin. So with that said, a foundation that I like to use for my oily skin is this Revlon Color Stay for combination oily skin. And it works. It works good. The only thing that I have to say about it is it dries really quickly, which can kind of lead to streaks, so you really got to get in there. But then again, I don't have a desired foundation brush that I want yet. I'm waiting for my Sigma makeup brushes to come in, which I'm super excited about, and I'll probably make a video about that when I get them. So, alright, and for the setting powder, I use this Benefit powder, and this is the number two. This is Lots Away Shine and Discoloration. And the reason why I like this is, well, that smells good. <laughs> That's the one reason. Another reason is because um, it does blot away oiliness, and I find that even when um, I'm tan like I am right now, or um, I'm completely pale when I don't tan, that this blends into my skin tone real nicely. So I like to use that. Um, so since I'm in this drawer, some lip glosses that I use and some lipsticks. I'm not really a big lipstick kind of girl. I don't wear it a lot. I like lip gloss. But the lipsticks I've been trying out and I like so far. Like I said, I'm not a big lipstick fan. So I just got these little mini lip colors from Sally Beauty and I've been using those. So. But the lip glosses that I really like are these Triple XL from Maybelline. And I have a lot of colors. I can't even bring them all out. And I love these because... I love the colors and the lip pluckers, which I really like because, you know, I want those beautiful lips. And um, it's just a nice, light tingle. It's not anything severe. Alright, so moving on. Eyeliners. For my cream eyeliners, I just use L'Oreal Hip. I really like these. That's what I use today for a base for my black for my smoky eyes. And I really like these. I find that they go on nice and creamy. You know, they stay on. Um, liquid eyeliner. I like this Revlon Color Stay. This works great. I have an all May 12 hour one, but this one kind of streaks and clumps. But this one is really nice. Revlon Color Stay. And my brow gel. Again, just Revlon brow gel. Um, mascara. I love CoverGirl's Lash Flash. Love it. It's really great mascara. And um, it was kind of awkward at first because I have really small hands and holding this big 
handle here, but I've gotten used to it and I really, it covers every lash. It's great. Um, some of the eye primers I have. Now I've found that you can use a lot of things as eye primers. You can use like coal pencils, um, MAC shade sticks. The only thing about these is some of them are nice and creamy, like Max Beijing, but shark skin can get a little clumpy. So you really have to put it on your finger first and then apply it to your eyes. But they work really well if you really want to bring the color out. Um, but some of the sorry primers that I have been favoring over the Max Shade Sticks are these NYX Jumbo Pencils. These little suckers work charms. And um, I'm going to get more of these, but every time I go to Ulta, they're like sold out, so I have to wait. Okay, so, and some of the basic eye primers that I use is Lemonade. Love this stuff. I've had this stuff for quite a while now. I use it every day, and it looks barely used. I mean, great stuff. It's just a nice... Uh, like light beige with like yellow undertone to it. And Urban Decay's primer potion. I wasn't gonna try Urban Decay because I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of a Mac girl. But then I've really been branching out and I've been trying Bitch Slap and um, Urban Decay, which I'm really liking. But I'm gonna get back to that. So Another thing that I like to use for like coal pencils are these Urban Decay 24-7 glides. I got like a mini gift set around Christmas time for Wicked Cheap, so I have a bunch of them. Again, I have too many to bring up to, but they're really nice. They go on creamy. They have a lot of bright colors. I like to use those. But they can be a little expensive, so some cheaper ones that also work awesome are um, Wet n Wild coal pencils. These work really great, too. So that's for eyeliners and stuff.